Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to our playthrough of Tales of Zestiria. You know what? I'm trying, guys. This is only okay. my fifth or sixth video. <laughs> it's okay. I don't know why you. Tony, you've been on other episodes. I have been on other episodes. Check them out. <laughs> no, oh, no, I gotta put them up there and stuff. <laughs> put it right here. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I am. I try to make this show like not spammy, be like, watch all of our stuff. And then these guys. Ooh. Let's watch this kid. This kid. <laughs> let's watch this kid. Actually, I, well, okay, okay. Oh, this, <laughs> this is, this, just, I, I don't know. What the hell you want now? Whoa. What, you got a problem? Oh, hey, mister. You smell like you'd be mighty tasty. All right, that's fucked up. <laughs> right? It's it's very unexpected, right? But then you see it and you're just like, oh my god. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, that's how it looked like in the morning. I mean, never to crash at your place. Oh, so, baby, there's always a bed for you. So this is this is actually going to be a pretty reoccurring theme in this game. Oh, small my. children who oh, look my. like goblins. Uh, well, uh, I or just the fact that you're seeing this like dual identity: what the world sees and what um, uh, Sore can see. Yeah, what Sore sees is supposed to be the reality, right? Now, do they only see it when he's talking to them, or will it happen more frequently where he's just walking by and he? He sees demons. It's it so far. It's generally when you're interacting with them, mm. and then when you're when when they're not in dialogue, then they return to normal. Sure, sure. Um, which is almost a little disappointing. Like it works right now oh. because it's like, oh god, these things I did not expect. Um, but then yeah. I feel like after Saray discovers these things, it should be everywhere. We, we should see them in in the world so that we can be like, oh god, shit's more fucked up than I thought. Right, because yeah. because now, now we know that this is a thing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Our brains are used to it, so it won't be like. Something out of the ordinary at this point. <laughs> Sorry. Right before we started recording, uh, Tony totally downed a beer. I did. Yeah. So for the last like two minutes, we just heard him go, yeah, and then it go, <laughs> and then uh, go, <laughs> <laughs> wait till the beer farts come in. Oh, oh no. no it's, gonna, it's gonna shake the couch. <laughs> I've shaken so my couch in the day. And oh my. Back in the day, that couch was like an earthquake. Back in my day. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, now are these actual people or are these just two animals duking it out? To be totally honest, I'm not sure. I think they are people, like, actually these monsters. Okay. Like tiger people. Oh, he says that's different, so. I think but, we should. but I'm not totally sure, right? Like, I've I've played huh. a decent amount of this game and I haven't encountered a humanoid species of half tiger people. Uh, maybe uh, we'll see this later on. El but tigre. The tiger twins. But I mean they're fighting each other, right? So it's not like they're necessarily the um uh, you can't even approach. God them. love it in RPGs when they're like, you can't do this right now. It's a little shitty, like I hate invisible walls. In this yeah. context, it's not the worst, no. but just in case someone like us was like, let's just try this now, and then we get destroyed. Well, so game design-wise, invisible walls are generally shitty because right. they're portraying... They're the most dickish way of they're, they're, steering you away from something. They're dickish and they're counterintuitive. Like, you don't know it's going to be there until you hit it, and then you're like, great, this is nice. Yeah, yeah. right, exactly. <laughs> well, this is nice. <laughs> so we're trying to find Alicia. Yes. Oh, yeah, what's uh, her name? Here, we'll check this, and then we'll do the thing. Oh, no one told me the sanctuary would be this gorgeous. You can tell the shepherd myth is a big part of the culture here. Strange, though. There's no sense of blessing at all. Now that you mention it, we could always feel Gramps' blessing back in Elysia. Granted, Gramps is a particularly powerful seraph. But even so, this town has a high concentration of malevolence. It's honestly making me a little sick. You gonna be okay? For now, at least. I'm starting to think it'd be a bad idea to stay too long, though. This place has even more Hellions than we imagined. There 
They're wandering around right there in front of us, and yet we can't do a thing. I'm as frustrated as you are, but our hands are tied. We don't have the power of purification. Yeah, if I was them, I would just go on a killing spree. <laughs> but why are you murdering these innocent people? But can't you see they're monsters? Dude, you talk to invisible people and you think we look like goblins. I'm saving everyone. <laughs> they just don't know it yet. That kind of sounds like something that would happen in an RPG, like a JRPG. What? Having that like kind of crazy scientist character that's like, yes. Yeah, it happens pretty frequently, actually. Yeah. I just want to make the perfect person. Oh my. Ha ha ha. People say I'm creepy, but I'm just happy. That's a YouTuber, isn't it? Daz Black, my friend. So, uh, Void Rings. I think we both have them. Yeah. Although this is, yeah. we can kind of see how uh, some of the rings have different attributes, attributes right? So yeah, like this yeah. one is yeah. Phantom. I see recovery upon successful stun. Phantom. Do they know they spelled Phantom, Phantom wrong? So this was something that kind of bothered me for a while with this game is they've named each of their skills in really dopey uh, conventions, yes. I guess. And uh, it's intentional because you find, later on we're going to find these little creatures that are seraphim. Um, but they're like lesser seraphim. They're weird. Oh, okay. um, and they basically represent skills that are found on equipment. Oh. And oh. as we find them, they unlock it and our equipment for free, like once, and then we can assign them to the Lord of the Land. And it will increase the chance of us finding equipment um, that we loot off of monsters with those attributes. So it's okay. actually kind of cool. Um, hey, that guy's happy to see you. This for authorized personnel only. If you're here for the sword pulling contest, you got to go get in line over by the front entrance. So if you haven't heard, there's a sword pulling contest right now, and that's what the festivities are about. Um, <laughs> oh, it's just... I don't think we talked about that in the last episode. Uh, no, so, we did not. The Lady of the Lake has a sword... Yes, and we know that Alicia is in that in in the the churchy building. Yeah, in that castle. Oh, was that a castle or was it just a church? Like a um, cathedral looking. Thing. I think it's a cathedral. Oh, uh, it makes sense. A I mean, you know. cathedral. Yes. As we yes. said in the good old days. I don't know what good old days you're talking about. <laughs> I have nothing else yeah, to say. But the good old days for me when were were when you weren't around. You know, Cujo, I'm. Uh, I'm I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really sorry. <laughs> something was supposed to happen there, and it didn't. What? Maybe I have to talk to them again. Well, uh, did you see his face changed? It looked like now he had like an unhappy face, and so maybe now if you talk to him, he'll like run you through with his spear. I hope so. But Hot. no, what was actually supposed to happen was he was supposed to be like, you can't come in here, authorized personnel only. And you're like, okay, cool. And you walk down the That's, stairs, and oh. someone else talks to you, and they're like, hey, we can help you get in there. Hey, he's just saying the same thing. Did we miss uh, something else happen? Maybe. Where's my map? There you are. Uh, there are no stars. No, we didn't miss anything yet. Huh. Unless I missed a conversation with Miklio. Um, because they're, he, he, he and Saray talk in front of the cathedral, and they're like, so we're not going to go in this way because there's absolutely right. no way that's going to work. But I thought they had that conversation already. They had some conversation where they were like, look how big this place is. Yeah, yeah we were kind of talking over it, but I thought that was the conversation. Well, maybe go back, see if there's another point of interest. Unless there's someone here I can talk to. Oh, oh wait. Oh, that's Ray. Oh, yeah, that's Ray. Wait, wait, no. What does it say? It had a star next to it. That's that's just telling you that it's quest related. Okay, Saray, what do you say? This will be able to take ages to find a way around. I guess we'll have to deal with it though if we want to learn anything. That's that's liter. That might be the conversation you need. Maybe that would be a little silly because those conversations have never triggered anything else in the game, and well, it would be bad design because it's counterintuitive. How are we supposed to know that we're supposed to talk to them before we trigger the rest of the quest points? Well, at the same time, how, I mean, I, as far as I know, those little side conversations never really trigger a main quest point either. So why would that be a thing? What do you mean? Oh, you mean the the like yeah the little thing? animated yeah. Um. That's true. Well, that's why I'm surprised that this isn't happening anyway. 
maybe there's something in the other part of town we need to look at. So what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to talk to these guys and be like, hey, buddies, uh, I'm going to show you this... <laughs> this enemy book. This royal you know, knife. It'd I, be like, I have authorization, bitch. Here's my royal knife. You know, I think next time we can really get into depth on what's going on with this uh, town. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure out what's... Well, we're going to get through in the next episode. Yeah, yeah. well. So, hey, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, stay tuned for more tales of Zestiria. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> thanks for watching. Goodbye. See you in the archives. <laughs> See you in the archives. <laughs> it's like Chris is doing these weird like hand things. It's like I'm really good to do this. I'm do. like smacking my face. <laughs> Tony's just downing a beer. <laughs> ew! 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 Loudest swat gulp. Ah!